What you're looking at here today is a very common problem that I see on so many home inspections. I think it deserves a video. So essentially what's happened here is someone has poured a concrete walkway now. This is dated 1990, which is 10 years after the house was built. So it's hard to believe that you could pour this walkway and it would settle six or eight inches when it was poured 10 years after the house was built. A lot of times people get in a rush to, to pour it and uh, they don't let the ground settle enough around the foundation wall. So in this case, I don't know what happened, uh, but nonetheless, it has definitely settled. And you have to try your best to make sure that it doesn't settle by pinning it to the wall. If it's a wood basement, you should never pour something concrete up against a wood basement without putting a knee wall underneath the edge of it to hold it, keep, prevent it from settling. And uh, if you ever have questions about that, you can text me or question, question me on it. Um, so in this case here, you can see a small crack. Now, normally, that's I consider that a very normal crack for a concrete wall. There's only one thing we know for sure about concrete is eventually it's going to crack. Normally, that's not a problem. But in this case, it's become a problem or it could become a problem because we have so much of this walkway settling in towards the house putting hydrostatic pressure on that wall so even if you only get a gallon or two of water in a heavy rainstorm coming into your basement what do you think that's going to do to your basement wall is the potential for rot mold um, respiratory problems for people maybe sleeping in a bedroom in a situation where that crack is close so always do your best to tamp the ground make sure that it's very well settled and uh, the other thing that I recommend and I don't know why builders don't do this but put a really good positive slope on the on the walkway don't try to get an inch difference between there and four feet out why not put four inches difference in that way if it settles two inches you still have a positive slope because this is a very expensive repair now to come back and try to fix this if you mud jack it it's not a cheap uh, enterprise to do that um, and if you try to pour over top of it, it still might not hold um, or water might get in between the two and all kinds of cracks happening and so on. So I really suggest that you do it right the first time.